ok flagstaff koa in arizona we are about an hour and a half south or an hour and a half away from the south rim of the grand canyon normally we like to stay at state parks and basically not this kind of campground however uh, we didn't have a whole lot of options because this was kind of a last minute planned trip and the reason that we're going to do this is because we were pleasantly surprised at how accommodating the KOAs are. So this KOA has a playground down there is a dog park. And one of the first things that we noticed when we pulled in is the trees. We haven't seen a whole lot of trees past Arkansas on the way out west. So this was a huge bonus for us to be able to camp, park, rest amongst the trees. So it's right, pretty much right off of 40, maybe two minutes off of Route 40. And they're pretty spaced out. They got these little teepees over here that it looks like there's bunk beds in. So I'm guessing in season, maybe they're like cabins. Kind of interesting. There's a few more over here. But it looks like there's three loops. Got some of your premier sites back there. There's a bathroom at the office up here. There's a bathroom and showers up there. And then there's also another bathhouse up here, which we'll go check that one out. Bathrooms are always a either a deal breaker or a pleasant stay for us. But again, as you can see fairly spaced out sites for this kind of campground. Looks like there might be some cabins over there. Another fantastic thing. There's a mountain right behind it. And from what we understand, there are a few trails running behind the campground. Always a bonus. Okay, so there is laundry. Uh-oh. Looks like right now they're all out of order. But maybe that's a seasonal thing. When I guess in season it's a big laundry area. Uh, looks like this is the only set working right now. Guess better one than none. All right, so. All right, several stalls. Pretty clean. This is always another one that we're curious about. The showers. Not bad. It's warm. And honestly, it's pretty clean. Alright. So, there's a few more sites back here. And it is tight, but at least there's some trees to separate out and a little bit in between. You feel like you kind of have your own spot for the night. Again, mountains in the background, always a bonus. Here's 
the giant elk. Everybody needs a giant elk. Looks, they are, looks like they are working on the playground. And there's some sites up there that are really kind of nestled back by themselves. And the Isleta Loop. Those are really kind of private back in there. Here are some tent sites. Tent sites are pretty, pretty isolated too. Off by themselves. Looks like there's another bathhouse down there just, just for the tent campers. So just a quick, to give you an idea, considering this is so close to the Grand Canyon, Flagstaff I'm sure is a super, super popular area to pit stop before you make it there. I would have to say, I would probably stay here again. No issues, clean, staff was friendly, not unhappy. So. Hopefully this helps give you an idea because, again, this isn't our usual method of pit stops and camping, but to get us to where we're going, I think we'll be just fine here.